for those that are headed out maybe to the cottage or to Ribfest, you may want to pack that umbrella because we're expecting some showers starting in the next hour or so. You can see already some areas across the GTA and southern Ontario already dealing with rain and you can see that highlighted by green. So anywhere from southwestern Ontario all the way up to Toronto, we're going to start to see it soon. We're seeing those clouds roll in and we will continue to see it throughout the evening period. So how long does this last? Well, we're going to continue to see those showers pretty much on and off throughout the evening period, overnight and heading into tomorrow as well. So that's what we're expecting. We're expecting those showers to linger right throughout the overnight and into tomorrow by 5 p.m. It should taper off. You can see out towards the island, 12 millimeters is what we're expecting in total. That's a combination of this evening and tomorrow. 10 millimeters closer to the Toronto area, Woodbridge sitting at 15 millimeters and 22 millimeters in Newmarket. So like I said, this is a combination of basically the next 48 hours, how much rainfall. So further north you are, further east you are, you're going to see more rainfall. And that rainfall does continue into Monday, but for some areas... We'll have a dry start to the day on Monday, and it's not until the evening that we'll see that rain once again. Current temperature in Toronto sitting at 17 degrees, 18 out towards the island. The good news is it's not going to be as cold as yesterday. Yesterday, some areas across the GTA dealt with frost. Overnight, most areas will be still in the teen range. So we're starting to warm up, and we'll see a warm-up in store right throughout Sunday and Monday as well. Messy hair, don't care forecast, a westerly wind 30 to 40 kilometers per hour. Your long weekend forecast for the closing weekend for CNE, you can see that we're rising by Monday. We get to a high of 26, but showers in store after 5 p.m. What you need to know, this is what you need to know tonight, showers. We're back to the double digits overnight, and on Monday, it's going to be a hot day with evening showers. So this is what the next seven days look like. You can see that we are warming up by Monday. We start to cool down once again. But the only day of the week so far that it looks like we're not going to see rainfall is on Tuesday when we go back to school. Other than that, some spotty conditions right throughout the long weekend.